it is important that we understand the principle behind limits. Say, for example, we wish to draw, draw this key, all right? This key has a length of 30 millimeters. If we were to measure it with this ruler by 15 millimeters. It means therefore that to draw this, we would need a, a rectangular distance of 30 millimeters on the X and 15 millimeters on the Y. So the limit in other words is an imaginary rectangle, is a space that we tell AutoCAD that we need to draw in. Okay, so this limit would be roughly 30 by 15. However, if we were to draw this book, this rectangle, this book has a width of, say, width of, this is 250 millimeters, length 250, width 180. The limit for this would be more, yes? So for this, we would need a limit of, uh, upper limit of probably, say, 180 or 200 by 150. So the limit that we set is relative to the size of the drawing, all right? And um, for AutoCAD, typically, if you do not set a limit, you'll find cases where you are drawing, you start a drawing, you did not set a limit, and what you realize is that the line goes off falls way out of the screen. So limit tells the computer exactly what space you want and what space it should set. However, you must do something very important before open entering those lower value and upper value. Please note that the lower limit is always 0, 0. It's fixed. Upper limit varies. For example, a typical building drawing will have a, I typically use 20,000 by 20,000 for the upper limit. Or you could use 15,000 by 15,000 for the upper limit for a building drawing. Let's, let, let, let me explain how we go about setting up that. So limit, let me change my shear, new shear, AutoCAD. Right, so this is a new drawing, pretty typical. The first thing that you do is to, you would remove your grid. Remove our grid, all right? So we would click here, remove our grid, or grid line. The next thing is to enter the shortcut key for a limit. The shortcut key for a limit is LIM. LIM, you see, pops up, enter. We must, the next step is to pay attention to the command bar. It says, limit, limits specify lower left corner. The lower left corner is a lower limit. That is always zero comma zero. So I enter zero comma zero, enter, right? Now, it allows me to specify the upper limit. The upper limit again is the is the value is the point between the x and the y. It's the width and the height upper limit. Again, we said that is relative to the size of the drawing. In this case, I'm drawing this book, so I'm going to use a limit of three hundred by three hundred, for example. So I type three zero zero. I could use comma to change from the X to the Y, or I could use the tab key. Tab key. 300, comma, 300, enter. So I've entered my lower limit and also my upper limit. You will realize that nothing will happen. You will not see anything. The screen will appear as the same. However, to bring that limit onto the screen, we must perform a next function. We must type zoom, Z for zoom, enter, all. A for all, enter. What that does that brings the limit onto the screen? 
it is important to know that if you set your limits and you do not type Z enter, A enter, the limit will not take effect. So it's important that you do that. Okay, so that is basically all there is for limit. Limit is pretty simple, all right? Remember to watch your previous video on how to, if you haven't watched that video before, watch my previous video that I did on limits as well, all right?